So I'm gonna record another venomous snake strike compilation. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Seems like we are starting off with a perfect strike from the pygmy rattlesnake female. This is the Sistrurus miliarius baburi to be exact. And uh, as you can see, that rodent got almost completely paralyzed right away. Like uh, some people say that the uh, venom still needs like a few seconds to take effect at the very least, but as seen here, this is not necessarily the case if they get like a really good strike on them. So. As I just mentioned, this is the female one. I fed the male in the last video, I think. Very big fan of the Sistrurus rattlesnakes or the pygmy rattlesnakes. Very, very beautiful animals, I think. And it uh, seems like she's already trying to check if uh, she can swallow the rodent. But uh, I think she's probably going to wait until the last bit of twitching there is over. There we go. So uh, let's uh, let her enjoy a meal in peace. So next up is my prairie rattlesnake, Crotalus viridis. There we go. Struck it again. As you can see, very fast strikes from the prairie rattlesnakes. I'm not sure if the venom is kicking in yet, but it does seem like it. Uh, obviously, the Crotalus viridis got a bit of a unique mixture of venom components compared to most other pit vipers. For example, they have uh, neurotoxic components as well. So obviously the effect on the rodent is going to be a bit different. Hmm. There we go. It's definitely kicking in now. Let's see. I think it's dead already. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Hmm. But it's definitely dying, so... She is probably gonna be able to try and eat it any time now. Look. And uh, this is gonna be a very really nice big meal for her. She was born uh, 2023, I think, so she still has a lot of growing to do. So I think that's just the perfect size for her. So let's uh, go to the next snack then. So, of course, I'm gonna feed the beloved copperheads as well. This is the male one. Just uh, got a little snack for him. Oh, there we go. So, let's see here. I think the venom should kick in any time now. Oh, there we go. And uh, as you can see, even though the rodent is walking all over him, he is uh, not going to strike again because, of course, he knows it's uh, going to collapse any time now. See? And uh, this time it seems like he didn't get that much venom inside the rodent as usual. Mm. As it's still rather active, as you can see. And uh, some people seem to worry about the snakes uh, getting injured then when the rodent tries to fight back, but uh, in my opinion this really isn't the case, see. Like you need to keep in mind that the uh, snakes hunt much more defensive rodents in the wild than like those mice I buy from the pet store. And they also don't have that much bite force, so you don't really need to worry about even if the venom doesn't work immediately. 
and uh, of course the female one is getting a little treat as well. Let's see here, oh, full focus. There we go. Venom should kick in any time now. Let's see. Uh, it seems like uh, the female got uh, much more venom into the rodent than uh, the male before. But uh, of course it is uh, a little random at times. You need to keep in mind that with uh, every millisecond they hold on longer to the rodent they can potentially get more venom into it. So therefore the results of each strike is uh, different even with the same snake. So let's go to the next one. And uh, last but definitely not least is my wonderful Namibian puff adder. There we go. The scientific name is Betis arietans, of course. And as you can see in a typical puff adder fashion, he is holding on to the prey item in a set of, you know, striking once and letting the rodent go. Need to keep in mind that the uh, puff adders have actually one of the fastest strikes of all venomous snakes and they are very precise so they can uh, get the rodent right behind the head like this and then the risk of them getting injured by the prey item is very low even if they try to hold on. I'm a little surprised that the rodent is still alive, or at least it seems like it. The puff adders are uh, actually some of the most venomous vipers in uh, regards to toxicity to humans at least. Like an uh, adult puff adder is uh, able to store enough venom to kill up to five fully grown humans, so yeah, definitely uh, not a snake you would uh, want to get bit by. Mm, other than that, they do very well in captivity though. They are usually very good eaters from my experience. And they are wonderful to look at, of course. With the beautiful, beautiful coloration they got.